So in the natural world, we are, uh, you know, we were hunter gatherers and now we started farming, right? So we farm, um, we use the the land and the the old methods of using, you know, using cow manure and urine and and uh, re fertilizing the land with recycled materials and highly abundant, rich, uh, you know, volcanic soils. Uh, which are laced with like the ash and the nutrients of that ash is like filtered down into the soils and enriched the soils with so much goodness from the from deep in the in the in the earth below the earth's surface and and the oceanic you know the oceanic uh, beds where you know the areas have dried up where the waters evaporated and you get soils there which are loaded micronutrients imagine all the the, the fauna the, the abundance of micronutrients all the different nutrients in the sea you ever been to the seaside and you come back and your skin's just like nice and it's got that purple tint to it and you feel great and everything's all good and then you get back to work and then two months later you just feel like a biscuit you know so that's what that is is when you get to the seawater you know it's got all this stuff actually that you don't even need to eat or consume any of it it just gets through your skin that's how that's how badly we need these nutrients it just seeps through your skin there okay your skin's porous so what am i where am i going with this what i'm saying is that there's micronutrients and there's macronutrients what does that mean jazzy macronutrients we're talking like carbs protein fats anyone can get macronutrients anywhere literally it's so easy to get macronutrients that's what's being pushed everywhere the fertilizers which grow our foods right this is the this is the issue okay so the fertilizers which grow those macronutrients so for example you've got your potatoes you've got your celery broccoli and you've got the animals and so the nutrients that go into the soils that produce those plants which feed those animals uh, actually are very basic and the reason for this is two reasons is genetically modified crops which allow for the minimal inputs and the maximum output okay that's the design it's not designed to pull in as much nutrient as possible and raise the input costs and then raise the output costs the game is to make something look better bigger and more juicy and sugary and sell it uh, with less input costs and that's the game okay so why is this an issue this is an issue because your body to be able to break down those macronutrients those fats those proteins those carbohydrates enable for your in order for your body to process those nutrients you need micronutrients so you don't just need potassium phosphorus nitrogen you need an iron and stuff like that you need all the little cobalt you know the molybdenum you know the the iodine uh, all these different uh, factors in in the growth to not only give you a healthier growth of that plant but also provide the sustenance and nutrition going forward for the the the, uh, the cattle uh, the livestock and uh, and the human beings that consume the livestock and the and the uh, and the agricultural produce so what we're really talking about here is it this is an introduction so that you can understand where the nutrients are coming from not where the food's coming from the food comes from the farm right but where do the nutrients come from the nutrients come from fertilization there's different methods of fertilization there's organic recyclable you know sustainable methods and then there's straight up mining take stuff out the ground smash it all together and put it back into the soil and that's a you know you know one of them's a labor intensive process and one of them's a cost intensive process and the cost they want to bring the cost down as much as possible and get the result with the minimum with the bare minimum so that the system keeps going people keep buying food the population keeps growing and gdp growth keeps growing and we are producers and our as a nation we are growing that's all fantastic the economy grows this way the cheaper that you can have food that's sustainable that people the population's happy with 
that's how the economy grows but at the expense of human health and that's what this series is about we're going to be talking about why we need more micronutrients in the soil to feed our children and ourselves and the future generations ahead if we want to live in a world which is harmonious and not turning into some you know calamitous dystopian environment i'm a protopian i believe that things get better over time but this is something that i'm finding is not addressed you know there's nobody even talking about this let alone trying to address it and there's lots of reasons for that and guess what i'm going to be talking about it. and and i will get shot down by many people if i if i reach the heights of you know awareness in people if i if i engage with you and you and you become aware they're going to come for me i'm just letting you know be ready for that watch them come for me but guess what i don't really care cuz i can't really live with myself without making people aware of this stuff i really can't because i feel like you know if if you, if my neighbors knew the same thing and 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 that that might be a bit different because i'd be like okay somebody will do that that one day but i don't see anybody doing it anytime soon and i want to make people aware of what is up ahead so if you like this kind of content and you're really intrigued to find out what i say next about these micronutrients macronutrients how they affect your health and how the lack of micronutrients can invite disease in the long term in the short term then please stay tuned like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video